Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Dave Robson, the father of geologist Daniel Kniez Robson. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, as you guys have, may not have been seeing me for a little bit, I had to take a little brief break, you guys. Uh, I've been working in the background really hard, um, following leads, also investigating some items. Uh, but I had to take a break and step away back from um, you know, engaging with uh, the social media and as well as, as uh, doing lives and things like that. I just needed a moment, you guys. And I thank you so much for uh, bearing in there with me, standing there with me. Um, I, I've seen the support uh, from you guys, the constant uh, shares and things that we've been going on on social media. So I, I truly appreciate you guys for keeping things going uh, while I take that break uh, on social media. Uh, I, I really appreciate it, guys. I give you all the love that I can give uh, from afar. Uh, so uh, thank you. But I come this, e this evening to talk about uh, the mail-in protest, something I have been doing for weeks now, you guys. You guys have been joining in with me. You guys have been championing on that, uh, keeping those fly uh, those uh, protest uh, picket side flyers uh, going into these uh, to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office as well as the Buckeye Police Department uh, to make sure I keep my son's case um, from hitting cold case status when we have so much uh, to give and to law enforcement for them to uh, to investigate and to keep this case. Of course, you guys also know that I'm trying to get Daniel's case uh, moved over to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. He went missing in the Maricopa County and uh, Sheriff Paul Bazone has some jurisdictional responsibility to my son, asking him to open up an independent investigation into Daniel's case. Fresh eyes uh, can bring some light and find out exactly what happened. Uh, coming from different angles. So those are very crucial things that's going on. So that's why the mail-in protest is very important. So I'm going to share screens with you guys, with you guys and uh, talk about just that. You guys talk about the um, uh, the mail-in protest that I'm doing because this, like I said, again, you guys, is, is a very important thing uh, to keep Daniel Case from going cold. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, for the mail-in protest, you guys. Um, you go to please help find .com website. This is the website, guys, for uh, those who have not been on the website. If you go here, this is the main first page. I want to talk about a couple of these first before I talk about the mailing protest. It's about down lower on the first. Oh, everything's on the front screen, you guys, to access uh, um, everything I'm doing. This website, please help find .com, is the first uh, website or only the first website that I had. I, uh, the first website I had two. Uh, one was searchfordaniel.org, guys. If you go to searchfordaniel.org, it'll revert you back to please help find daniel.com, which was the original uh, website. Uh, this website I created it after I built my uh, platform for Daniel. Uh, it's through social media, of course, all the social media accounts. Please help find Daniel. Uh, Twitter is please help find four. Uh, but they all would lead you over to this website, please help find daniel.com, where uh, all the information, like I said, from uh, searching to any way that you guys want to help, you can find it here on Please Help Find Daniel. One thing I want to point out this uh, petition, you guys, uh, you push the button here at the top here, sign the petition. Uh, this petition is one of the first things that I created uh, also when I've been when I found out the law enforcement was not doing everything they could have done uh, to help um, in my search for Daniel. Uh, so you guys, you can see here, I have 127,787 voices, I like to call, um, to this uh, petition. And you guys, that's your voices. You guys have been standing behind me from day one uh, to uh, trying to reach the goal of 150,000. You guys can help me get there. You guys, I remember it was only seven people on uh, this uh, petition. And you guys had got me up to this point here. So I'll tell you, it's, it's a big deal for me. It's a big, really big deal uh, to see that number at 127,000, you guys. 787 voices of uh, people who has my back, who is um, with me on this effort, this fight. So I really, truly appreciate each and every last one of you uh, who have put your voice, like I said, to the petition. Okay, again, you guys, uh, you can see here the petition started September 8th of 2021. Um, this petition is to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office currently, you guys. And you know the reason why, again, also is over to the governor of uh, Arizona. That's Katie Hobbs. Um, she is a governor. And uh, so, so so the reason why I put her there, you guys, because hopefully those changes that we need in the uh, uh, laws and also the policies of the police department and the way they handle uh, missing person cases, maybe uh, this change right here would take place 
and that's on a government level, state level. We start off on the state level and try to get this thing going on to other uh, other cities and states as well. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for, you guys. So that's why I said this is a very important petition uh, for the work that I'm doing in the background, advocating uh, for other families out there. So again, um, go to pleasehelpfinddanny.com, you guys, and you hit that petition button. And please put your voice there. They may ask you to uh, verify your email address. Please do that so your your numbers can count. Sometimes you might think, hey, I just signed in. I put my, my email there and it didn't count. Also, you got help. If you have multiple emails, you guys, you can use it multiple times. You can put your actually, you can actually uh, put your voice there multiple times. How many emails you got? Um, so you can't do it multiple times. But I can tell you on change.org, they may ask you for uh, a donation. Those donations do not go to me. That's for change.org. And I can tell you they're doing a good job. So you guys want to help them out in that way, you can. They will be asking for uh, a donation. But that has nothing to do with me, you guys. It don't come. Uh, towards my way and my efforts also you got the volunteer the search tab here you guys if i had a search going on this is the button that you use it'll take you to the uh, search page you guys um you get to the search page if i have a search this summer that i'm working on you guys uh your volunteer the search page you come here and prepare for the search uh there's information here how you can be safe you guys i call it a safety briefing as well as how you can do line searches and how you still can keep safe with because it's like hiking out there guys if you're doing those line searches out there in that desert condition that will help you out that's more information guys you want the flyer distribution um you want to distribute flyers after the searches you can fill out this information and we can and it will lead you to uh being able to put your address information as well um to uh so that i can send those flyers you can have those flyers sent out to you okay so you can go this way like i said it's through the please help find daniel uh volunteer the search um tab and you can get those but another way you guys also if you want to pa pass out flyers uh because i'm still doing the flyer distribution getting thousands of flyers all over the place hit us up on please help find daniel at yahoo.com that's please help find daniel at yahoo.com the information is there for uh you give us your information we can have those flyers sent out to you one of my team members uh my 18 members will uh have those flyers sent out to you because i'm still like i said still doing the flyer distribution you guys also you guys volunteer other ways tab you got here and this volunteer other ways tab is very crucial to my efforts to find a daniel uh people who may be drone experts people who can help me uh like i'm doing right now in content creation uh whatever your skill sets are i can help uh, also with the daniel rosson foundation that we have you guys um you tell us who you are what you you know all this information that you fill out here uh, those things are vital and crucial to everything uh, that we are doing. Um, so, again, again, like, like I say, this way, if you live in another state, no matter where you live, what city you live in, uh, this way you can um, help. You can help out um, in uh, my efforts uh, to find a day. Also, you guys, again, like I said, you have the events tab here. You have the donate tab here. But you also have uh, the print your flyers tab if you guys say, hey, you know what? I'm helping Mr. Robinson out. Uh, I can print these flyers out myself. Thank you, because it, it would help out a lot. It saves some resources. Uh, but you guys, if you want to do so, I like to put them on, like I told you guys before, um, um, just making them the size, the front. This is the front and back, you guys. Make them the size of a, a, a postcard. But you, nevertheless, you make them how you want to. You want to put them on a big sheet of paper. That's fine uh, to get them out there. Uh, that's what the name of the game is, trying to get um, information out there about Daniel, uh, that maybe somebody, someone hear about his case and they can help me bring my son back home. So uh, that's that's very important, you guys. Also, the lastly, getting to this mail-in protest, you guys. The mail-in protest is uh, you guys come down um, a little further on the, on the first page. Go Again, go to pleasehelpfinddaniel.com. On the first page, you guys, you will see uh, the downloads. Please download your PDFs and for your mail-in protests. Uh, these are the, the, the picket signs, I like to call them, but also you can call them flyers. That will be going into uh, the, the offices of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office as well as the Buckeye Police Department. These are the same uh, 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 picket signs that will be uh, for the physical protest that I'm planning uh, to do at both of these locations. Also, you know, so you can see what they look like. So when you come up to the website, you see that you guys are just showing you what they look like uh, before you actually print them out. You know, when you want ready to print them out, you guys, you'll find all five of the PDFs right here. So these are the PDFs that uh, links you click on one, for instance, and it will take you to uh, that 
PDF link. You got it up here. You guys see, you can just print it out here. All of them there. Uh, each one of them is a different set, a set of one. And um, also, like I say, you guys, if you can, please mail your PDFs to the address below. That's the Buckeye Police Department. Chief Larry Hall is who you're addressing it to. Uh, the Buckeye Police Department, 21, uh, 21699 West Yuma Road in Buckeye, Arizona, 85326. And then you have the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Paul Pinzone, you guys. He's the guy that I want to open up an independent investigation into my son's case. My son went missing in Maricopa County. And as well as I want his case moved over because, you know what, fresh eyes uh, can bring some light into what happened to Daniel. And that is Sheriff Paul Pinzone at 550 West Jackson Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85003. You guys, we need thousands of flyers sent out every week. You guys need thousands of these flyers sent out every week. You guys can help me out with that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And God bless you guys. I'm just one man and I need you guys' help. You guys want to donate. Some people want to donate. Hey, Miss Ross, how can I help? This is one way to donate, you guys. You know, if you get some stamps, uh, get some letters, um, your time. I, I truly appreciate it, you guys. If you can get these letters, thousands, as many as you can. As many as you can, you guys. Reach out to people. Try to get them to do so as well and try to get a whole bunch of the goal is to get every week you guys get a lot of them going in at a time and that way daniel's case is always remembered in the head i'm not going in the way going in the way you guys you, as you've seen for two years now i have been fighting desperately uh to find out what happened to my son and i'm gonna continue to fight you guys but i cannot do this alone i definitely need your help so my work is not done my work is not done and i'm gonna continue to fight uh, for Daniel. So again, you guys, thank you so much again for uh, just listening in on how to how you can help. Uh, like I say, go to pleasehelpfinddaniel.com. You can follow me on YouTube channel, Please Help Find Daniel. You can follow me on, on Facebook, Please Help Find Daniel. You can find follow me on Instagram, Reddit, and also TikTok at Please Help Find Daniel. And you also lastly can help uh, can follow me on uh, Twitter. Uh, that's Please Help Find Four. Please help find number four and you can follow me there uh, and learn more about uh, Daniel's case and always also you get updates and things like that and how you can also, like I say, pitch in um, and help my efforts because I, I really truly need you guys. You could be in the backbone of everything I have been doing from day one and I continue, continually need your love and support. So thank you guys again uh, for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful blessing. And hold, don't forget to hold those who you love closely to you guys, no matter what. Hold them closely, you guys, because every every day is a special day with your loved one, no matter what happens. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time. God bless. Take care. Mm -hmm.